four former Minneapolis police officers charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights plead not guilty to federal charges. One of the items on the table at this morning's arraignment was if the officers should be tried together or if they should have separate trials. Remembering this is now the federal trial for Derek Chauvin. Carly Petrus has an update. In April, Derek Chauvin was convicted of murdering George Floyd. In June, he was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison. The other three former officers involved in the incident faced trials in March 2022 on aiding and abetting counts. Federal arraignment proceedings for Derek Chauvin, Thomas Lane, J. Alexander King, and Tu Tao started today. To initiate the process. They are charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights while acting under a government authority. The federal indictment alleges Chauvin violated Floyd's right to be free from unreasonable seizure and unreasonable force by a police officer. Tao and King are charged with violating Floyd's right to be free from unreasonable seizure by not intervening to stop Chauvin as he knelt on Floyd's neck. All four officers are also charged with depriving Floyd of his rights when they failed to provide him with medical care. It's now undetermined if all four will be tried together. By pleading not guilty to the indictments, they've now put the burden on the state to prove their guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. The attorneys for Lane and King argued they were new and only on the job for a couple of shifts. All attorneys argued that it would be prejudiced to be tried alongside Chauvin with most of the jury aware of the fact he was already convicted under state court. He's already been found guilty by a jury of his peers of murder. And so I can understand why they may not want to have their cases tried jointly with his. The judge added that in most federal court cases, the trial is joined, but this will be ruled on at a later time. What they're asking the federal court, the federal district court to do is sever the trials so that they don't have a joint trial, uh, at least together with Mr. Chauvin. Maybe they don't even want to have joint trials amongst themselves. Carly Petras, Fox 47 News. The next date in court is October 26th.